What is the biggest present you ever got? Did you know that there are some presents so big that nobody notices them? They're so huge that they are hard to see. In the beginning, there wasn't very much, just darkness. There was nothing, but maybe there was a smile somewhere, but no one to see it. So on the very first day, God gave us the gift of light. So now there was not just darkness, but there was dark and light. When God saw the light, God said, it is good. And that was the first day. On the second day, God gave us the gift of water. Now, not just the water in a glass or a bathtub or even a swimming pool or a lake or a river, but all the water in all the oceans and all the water in the sky that becomes rain. And the divide between the waters above and the waters below. And when God saw the water, he said, it is good. And that was the end of the second day. On the third day, God created the land, the land separate from the water, and even plants that would grow on the dry land. And when God saw the land and the water separate and the plants growing, he said, it is good. And that was the third day. On the fourth day, God created the great lights that would divide the day and the night. So now there would be day lit by the sun and night lit by the moon and the stars. And when God saw the light the night and the day, the moon and the stars, he said it was good. And that was the fourth day. On the fifth day, God created all the creatures that swim in the sea and all the creatures that fly in the air. Not just the birds and the fish, but little tiny flying creatures like insects and little tiny creatures in the sea, like plankton. And when he saw the creatures in the air and the sea, he said, it is good. And that was the fifth day. On the sixth day, God created all the creatures that walk on the earth. He created the animals, and that was even the day he created man in his own likeness. And when he saw the animals and the man in his own likeness on earth, he said, it is good. And that was the sixth day. On the seventh day, God rested. He looked at all the work he had done and he rested and thought about it. On the seventh day, we think about God and thank God for what he's given us. I wonder which of these days was the most important. I wonder which of these days was your favorite? I wonder if you can think of a gift that God has given you.
I wonder if you think about God when you see all there is on the earth.